Hi, in this video I'll be showing you why the product of two perpendicular gradients is equal to minus 1. Now what is a gradient? A gradient is actually a slope. Slopes can be positive and slopes can be negative. So this slope here is going to have a negative value and this slope here in red is going to have a positive value. Okay, so let's take a look at this diagram over here. What you should know is that this is a right angle, 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 and the blue line over here and the red line over here are perpendicular. And likewise, the red line over here and the blue line over here are perpendicular. Now, what you should know is that this length is A, this length is B. We've got a length B and a length A over here, a length B over here, a length A over here, a length B over here, and a length A over here. And this angle here is angle theta. This angle over here is angle beta. This angle here is angle theta. And this angle here is angle beta. Now, M1 is actually the red slope and m1 is equal to tan theta which is opposite over adjacent. If we look over here we can see the angle theta. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent and in this case it's a over b, right? Opposite over adjacent is a over b in this case. Now m2 is tan beta, right? But if we look at this diagram over here, the blue slope over here is negative, okay? And tan beta is opposite over adjacent. So that's B over A. But since this slope over here is negative, we get minus B over A. So tan beta is opposite over adjacent, which is minus B over A. Okay, now let's multiply m1 by m2 to see what we get. We know that m1 is equal to a over b. So let's write this down. We also know that m2 is equal to minus b over a. So we're going to multiply a over b by minus b over a. If we do this, we should get, and this is in fact minus 1. Because the numerator and denominator are the same in this fraction. So we've proven that m1 multiplied by m2 should be equal to minus 1.